OpenAI just held their dev day in London, and there were some exciting announcements from Sam Altman about the future of reasoning models. The spotlight was on OpenAI's upcoming O1 series, which is set to redefine what we know about AI. Unlike GPT-4, these O1 models are designed to handle complex reasoning and can plan out long chains of events with incredible precision. This shift towards reasoning models isn't just an upgrade, it's the start of a whole new paradigm. And if you're keeping an eye on the future of advanced AI, this is big news. These O1 models show us what's next for computation and the transformative potential they bring. So, if you're serious about staying on the cutting edge, this is something you won't want to miss. Before we dive any deeper, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to AI Gridlock, and share this video with your friends for all the latest updates in the world of AI. We want to make things better across the board, but this direction of reasoning models is of particular importance to us. I think reasoning will unlock, I hope reasoning will unlock a lot of the things we've been waiting years to do. And the, the ability for models like this to for example, contribute to new science, uh, help write a lot more very difficult code. Uh, that, I think, can drive things forward to a significant degree. So you should expect rapid improvement in the O series of models, and it's of great strategic importance to us. As you can see, Sam Altman made it clear these new reasoning models aren't just important, they're strategically essential for OpenAI. At the very top of their priority list is the O1 series, and for good reason. While GPT-4 was a game-changer as an all-purpose model, and ChatGPT-4 made impressive strides, O1 takes things to the next level by unlocking a level of reasoning we've never seen before. This is the kind of reasoning that allows AI to handle complex scenarios we once thought impossible. Sam Altman even hinted that they've been working towards this for years. This is the moment they've been waiting for. Think about the possibilities in healthcare, scientific research, and AI agents O1's reasoning abilities are the foundation for groundbreaking advancements in these fields and beyond. And here's a little teaser for what's coming up. Altman dropped some hints about future models, including an upcoming fourth iteration of O1 Model 04. If you're an AI entrepreneur or building a tech startup, this is the part to focus on. The insights from this event give you a roadmap for where to invest your time and energy to stay at the forefront of AI innovation. If we do our job right, uh, then that will not be as important in the future. If on the other hand, you build a company that benefits from the model getting better and better. If you know, an Oracle told you today that O4 was gonna be just absolutely incredible and do all of these things that right now feel impossible, and you were happy about that, then, you know, maybe we're wrong, but at least that's what we're going for. And if instead you say, okay, there's this area where, there are many, but you pick one of the many areas where O1 preview underperforms, and someone patches and just going to get it to work, then you're sort of assuming that the next turn of the model won't be as good as we think it will be. And that is the general philosophical message we try to get out to startups. Like, we, we believe that we are on a pretty, a quite steep trajectory of improvement, and that the current shortcomings of the models today um, will just be taken care of by future generations. And, you know, I would encourage people to be aligned with that. Here's the key takeaway these next-gen models from OpenAI are set to tackle many of the limitations current models still face. So if you're running an AI startup, especially one focused on low-hanging fruit in AI, this is your heads up. OpenAI is paving the way for models that will handle much of what's missing today. Sam Altman's talked before about the classic OpenAI killed my startup meme, but here's the thing with models like O2 or O3 on the horizon. It's less about competing with OpenAI and more about building in synergy with them. The real opportunity lies in creating something that enhances or distributes what OpenAI might not focus on initially. For future AI founders, this is a golden insight. Success will be in developing products or applications that extend OpenAI's reach into new areas or add fresh layers of value. That's where the edge will be as these powerful models roll out for everyone. I think fundamentally there are two strategies to build on AI right now, or startups doing with AI. There's one strategy which is assume the model is not going to get better, and then you kind of like build all these little things on top of it. Um, and then there's another strategy which is build assuming that open air is going to stay on the same rate of trajectory and the models are going to keep getting better at the same pace. Um, it would seem to me that 95% of the world should be betting on the latter category, but a lot of the startups have been built in the former category. 
And then when we just do our fundamental job, which is make the model and its tooling better with every crank, then you get the open AI killed my startup meme. Yeah. Um, if you're building something on, open, on GPT-4 that a reasonable observer would say, if GPT-5 is as much better as GPT-4 over GPT-3 was, not because we don't like you, but just because we like have a mission, we're going to steamroll you. But there's a giant set of startups where you benefit from GPT-5 being way better. And if you build those and AI progress keeps going the way that we think it's going to go, I think on the most part, you'll be really, you'll be really, for the most part, you'll be really happy. If you're a developer or entrepreneur building your own AI company, here's the reality models like GPT-5, O2, and O3 are just around the corner and they're only going to keep getting better. So if you're thinking, oh, OpenAI missed this limitation, I'll tackle it myself, that might not be the best bet for your company's future. Instead, keep an eye on how to complement or extend these models rather than competing with them head on. Now let's get into some specifics about what's next for O1. At Dev Day, Sam Altman shared a sneak peek of O1's upcoming updates with five new features that are definitely worth talking about. One. Function calling this lets the model connect directly with apps and websites to perform tasks automatically, like fetching information or sending data to other programs. Imagine live weather updates or booking a table without extra coding these integrations are a huge time saver. 2. Developer messages the model can now interact directly with developers, offering feedback and guidance to optimize app integration with AI. This means developers can refine how AI fits into their apps with real-time support, improving both speed and performance. 3. Streaming responses think of it as the model thinking out loud instead of waiting for a full response. O1 delivers parts of the answer as it generates them. This is perfect for long or complex responses where you get information faster, almost like watching a video load in real time. 4. Structured outputs, here's where the model gets neat and organized. Instead of just plain text, O1 can deliver responses in tables, lists, or charts formats that are ready to go, whether for a spreadsheet or an app display. This saves you the hassle of reformatting data. 5. Image understanding now, this one's a game changer. Altman hinted at some exciting developments in O1's ability to understand images, and the way he talked about it suggests there's more coming than meets the eye. This feature alone could open up new horizons for AI in image recognition and analysis. If you're serious about building AI, these updates show exactly where the potential lies. With powerful features like these, the future of AI development is here, and it's packed with possibilities. How do vision capabilities scale with new inference time paradigm set by O1? Uh, without spoiling anything, I would expect rapid progress in image-based models. That's a bit of a character. <laughs> Okay. Now, here's one of the wildest things Sam Altman hinted at without giving too much away. He teased us to expect rapid advancements in image-based models. OpenAI just released a paper on this, and it's game-changing. They've found a way to move beyond traditional diffusion models to a new technique that can generate stunning, high-quality images in just 0.1 seconds and at only 10% of the compute cost of previous methods. I'll be diving into this paper in detail soon, so stay tuned because the implications are massive. And for those of you interested in AI agents, yes, they're the buzz right now. Sam Altman shared his insights here as well. His thoughts hint at some exciting directions for the future of agents, and it's definitely something you'll want to keep on your radar. The main example they seem to give, fairly consistent, is, oh, you can, like, you know, you can, like, ask the agent to go book you a restaurant reservation. Um, and either it can like use open table or it can like call the restaurant. Okay, sure, that's that's like a mildly annoying thing to have to do and like maybe like saves you some work. One of the things that I think is interesting is a world where uh, you can just do things that you wouldn't or couldn't do as a human. So what if what if instead of calling uh, one restaurant to make a reservation, my agent would call me like 300 and figure out which one had the best food for me or some special menu or whatever. And then you would say, well, that's like really annoying if your agent is calling to make restaurants. But if, if it's an agent answering each of those 300 places, then no problem. 
and it can be this like masculine parallel thing that a human can't do. So that's like a trivial example, but there are these like limitations to human bandwidth that maybe these agents won't have. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next episode.